Alright, how we doing folks? Your boy Marcos over here and what probably is today my quickest uh, Call of Duty game on this uh on this kill confirm game mode. It might be one or two on combine though, a little bit shorter, but in terms of this, woof, and definitely one of the most successful man. Wasteland Wednesday, if you guys aren't familiar with the series, basically I dropped that murder game, you know, those big games, those wild games. Recommendation right here on this map. Uh which I think is called Breach. <laughs> I always have to hesitate still. I'm still in that point where I don't really know for sure what everything's called. Um, this isn't called Breach, actually. Dang it. No, this isn't called Breach. I don't know. I don't have any... Breach is the one with the... the, the, the you're on top of the rooftop, so whatever. Anyway, whatever it's called. Always go that water side. Or not even go that water side, but when you're on that water side, go in the water. Go through the water. I managed to get a lot of people off guard by going through the water. and I feel that that's the best method to at least start um, games. Is going through the water over there. If you're on that side, if you choose to go to the building side, then you know disregard that. But if you're over there, they just don't expect you to come out of there. You know, most guys are locked and loaded into the next thing that they're looking at. But that, mm -mm -mm, that water, you come out of there and you pull up over there. Ooh, you put some serious damage. I'm looking over here. I'm like, where are these guys spawn? I know that they're in the middle over here. We got a good game in this. Oh, we have we have a really good game. Obviously, because it's Wasteland Wednesday. But the thing I most liked about this, and I remember telling Husani at the time, I was like, this is the most. Somebody's got like an SVU kind of. Sniper rifle back there. I'm backing, backing it up, backing it up, backing it up. Uh, what I enjoyed most about this game was kind of that I felt like I was playing Black Ops 2 again. And you'll see why. Because I get on a nice little heater here. And I don't really come off of it for a lot. I get V-set after V-set after V-set after V-set after hater after hater after hater. I got to remember that they're called haters these days. And I sneak over there and trying to get these tasks. I'm like, yo, come on, B. Like, I got the hater on deck. 18 to 4 start over there. So we really put the work on these guys early in this game. I'm looking, I'm wondering, like, I know I come out of the water. Coming out of the water on this side to me isn't best, but coming on the other side to me works pretty well. And I see that that's really close to me, and I'm trying to push up because I know I get this streak over here, and I haven't seen anybody in a minute, so I'm getting a little, little drive here. Shoot that guy out there, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going over there, though. I'm going to go around. Start a reload. See that the guy dots out there. Come back in there. I'm like, nah, man, I ain't playing that over there. So the V-set is a little bit that. Oh, here's, here's teamwork right here. Here's teamwork right here. So Sonny sees the guy up there. I told him there's a guy over there. Like, yo, this guy over there to the right. And then he goes, I think, get some or got him. And I told him, yo, let me get that tag. And he was like, all right. And I was like, yo, I got this. And then this guy right here almost. This guy over here almost single-handedly made sure that this video was never pulled up. That dude right there. So drop the hater. Or drop the hater. Drop the uh, Wraith guy. Which I actually just unlocked right now. I'm prestiging uh, over again. So I managed to get that Wraith guy. I forgot how good he was, man, until people shoot him down. People shoot him down. No bueno. Now, my friends, this is what I mean playing Black Ops 2 again. Just some V-sets, your boys just putting in work. Big, 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 big fan of this. Got the Lamborghini Merciless going. And then I bit a lot more than I could chew over there because that was the whole spawn. Uh, cool thing in this man, man, if they don't make it inside the building, they are screwed out here. Like, there's very little to go. And these guys are trying to shoot them down. I got lucky that they spawned that guy so quickly. Managed to get some extra points over there. It's crazy how many points you get from UAVs, the V-sets, uh, the, the wraiths. You know, the wraiths, obviously, you get them from the kills or whatnot. But when you go, uh, another setup that I like really running score streak-wise is a classic. It's just a call through the class. I'm not even, I'm not even rediscovering anything here. It's just UAV counter V-set. Uh, it, it works. Like, there's nothing else to it. It works. Like, you just get points. And in this game, I feel like I get a lot more points. I don't know if it's just the action's at more fast pace, but I really feel like I'm getting points over there. I know Lusani get that tag because he let me get the one before. And I'm like, listen, man. I was like, I'm close to another streak, but I'm going to do it another way. I'm going to manage to do this uh, the right way, I guess, if you want to call it that way. Guardian over there. Guardians are strong. So I got a couple uh, different score streaks that I kind of write in. That's kind of, I guess, we could talk about in this video while we watch some demolition going on. Not the game mode. I'm just talking about people dying. Um, counter UAV, or UAV counter, and, uh, and the V set is kind of my standard score streak setup for the most part. Uh, then it changes. You know, there's some maps where I'll bust out the hardest sentry. Uh, you know, I'm thinking about uh, Combine, for example. I like putting it out on that one. Uh, and honestly, the name escapes me of the other one that I really like. Oh, uh, French. Got it. Like a, like a hard and century on that one as well. On the um, on the rooftops and whatnot is pretty dope. And, you know, depending on which side you're spawning on, you can put them or you can even put them in the barn, I suppose. I don't think I've had the opportunity to put one on the barn. Uh, also, another recommendation. When you get your streaks, call them. You know, oftentimes something I do is I kind of get stuck with a streak in my hand and I just don't call until it's a little bit too late. Like, I could have called, I, I, instead of pushing up right there, I literally could have pushed back, called my Wraith, and just chilled. 
Now, it's a little bit difficult to do that, you know, the whole chilling part in Call of Duty. You know, the whole other team is kind of out there trying to make sure you're not chilling. Um, so I can see where that could be a little bit of an you know, issue, um, if you want to call it that way. Uh, but, hey, whenever you can, go ahead and chill. That's what you should be doing in Call of Duty. I hate that little middle part right there. And I shouldn't have done that to begin with because it, it's just not... This is not something, uh, a battle that I should have been a part of. Uh, I run some Guardians sometimes as well on when I play like Hardpoint uh, in terms of score streaks. And check that out, the quad feet from my damn Chopper. I could appreciate that, man. That's, that's pretty I don't remember any stealth Chopper doing that for me. And that guy. Mm. Yeah, that dude, a nose breaker and a half. And here's our silence that's for you. I think it's silent. I don't know. It sounds like it should be silent. And then I think this chick was either shooting. I don't know what she was shooting. She was shooting something at me. And then I duck over here. Very well done. Just duck to the side. Don't get too involved with that. There you go. Take a breather. Always, always take a breather, man. Don't, don't. You, no one needs to push you. And I think Usani was in the talent here. So I'm like, don't worry, buddy. I'll save you. Got him. And did he live? He lived. Good teamwork. Always helps. Run another hate over here. I already lost count of many we got, man. But a bunch of tags. bunch of haters. Uh, the hate is definitely number one kill streak for me. As I lose my voice over here because I'm hitting puberty. My birthday a couple days ago, man. So, you know, I'm just I'm just starting to grow up right now. And hate is the number one. Uh, Wraith is probably my number two favorite, honestly. I haven't used the mothership yet. I should equip that. In all fairness, I only unlocked it like once. And I kind of never even, at that point, didn't care much for it. But uh, the hate is definitely up top. Wraith is right up there. Uh, UAV, obviously, is a classic, especially while the game is still early enough. And, you know, it takes a while to get ghosts, man. Like, it's it's not to one of the late things. You imagine people probably prestige token unlock that. Uh, a lot of people, especially the people that use the most often. But 42 and 6, not too bad in this game, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little bit all over there, man. But I try to focus at least a little bit on score streaks and what I run. Let me know what you run, man. Tell these guys running the score streaks. I'm very interested because a lot of people run a lot of different stuff, man. And the thing I'm seeing a lot in this game is variety. You know, there's a lot of people doing a lot of different things. Some good, some bad. I'm doing my thing, and thankfully, it's good sometimes, and it's pretty good sometimes, and it's even better some other times. Your boy Marcos, man, Wasteland Wednesday. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that hood stuff. Throw up that scoreboard, 42 and 6, baby. Deuces.